Hello everyone, this is Duck 2 and welcome to another Fabric Mod Review, this time on Redstone Tweaks, a mod where you have dyed redstone, analog redstone blocks, analog redstone lamps, redstone capacitors, torch levers, copper pipes, translocators, reinforced cobble, flint and redstone, possibilities for the composable automation, photo detectors, and yeah, we're going to be looking at a bit of that. This is really kind of like a coverage of the new features of Composable Automation, probably, but I'm mostly going to be saying that it's a Redstone Tweaks related video. Now, if I do stuff up anything, I apologise, I'm not an expert at Redstone, but I'll try my best with what I can work out or understand. So, yeah, obviously, we'll start with the beginning with red animal gridstone, which is pretty much like so. And like you would expect from it, you interact with it, and you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 strengths, and then, yeah, I'm just using a capacitor to demonstrate. You've got a redstone analog lamp, an analog redstone lamp, sorry, which obviously when turned on, depending on the strength of the signal, which we use a analog redstone block here, I can then scale it signal again. We've got hopper pipes, which are obviously Pretty much just good for transporting things at a cheaper amount than a hopper, but also not for um, multiple different directions, sort of more for consistency, I guess. Because so I just put in, say, I don't know, um, what I put in here, say, purple redstone dust. I'm not really getting anything out of here, it would seem, if I put a hopper here. Yep, so if I put this into this pipe, it'll keep going, and with a hopper here, it'll completely redirect it. But if I happen to break this hopper, put this hopper pipe down, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to completely ignore it. It'll go straight to this endpoint here. So obviously if you want stuff to go down, it still will be required to use a hopper, and even if you try and press this from this angle upwards, besides just like above, it still won't really make any difference, of course, but yeah. Obviously, if you want a lot more cheaper alternatives to hoppers, or you just want something that's a lot more thinner to transport things, then you can. There's probably a bit more you can do with it, it's just obviously that's sort of how I see it at least, but yeah. Otherwise, we've got the translocator, which from what I can understand, because I can't get it to work, I'm a bit unsure about how, is that obviously it's like the 1.10 piston bug, which people used for elevators, and you can pretty much use that now as a feature compared to a removed bug, and uh, yeah, obviously you can teleport entities. I've tried to do this, and I'm assuming it's with item entities, not with mobs. Um, but I have really no clue how to get it to work. I'm not really sure which side it works on, or if it happens to be something else. But I'll just try here with, say, I guess some torch levers or something. I'm not really too sure, and I'll even try the other side. I can get it to do so. And... Obviously, yeah, I'm not really too sure what the case is here. And I'll probably just put this the other side as well. Like so. This is going to work. Clearly. Okay. So I'm not really too sure, but I 
Um, clearly there's a way to do it, I'm just unaware of how, but most people that are probably familiar with the bug will know how it works and probably get a bit out of it, as you would expect with something like this. Now, obviously, next is obviously the flint and redstone, which obviously just ignites a redstone signal, where you would expect in place of it, so obviously you can make that go, and it seems to have a constant signal, it seems. When it comes to the lamp, of course, this is kind of different, but with the following here, it just seems to be hiding. Um, let's see. Do you want a capacitor? And obviously that'll put a brief signal to it, which is very simple. You've got torch levers, which obviously, like you'd expect, which I don't think the colour matters, it just works like you expect for specific rooms and the redstone torch variation also works and I don't think it matters based on strength too much. That's not really gonna work, but you kinda get the idea of a torch lever. Otherwise the different coloured redstones you can use alongside each other and they won't connect to the other when powered. So multiple different redstone wires. Same with the blocks, pretty much what you'd expect is just obviously a different dyed redstone block. And then capacitors obviously do the whole draining on redstone ticks determined by the redstone strength. So obviously like I showed with the analog redstone, you kind of get the idea of what happened. And uh, yeah, so I'll just finalize on the Protosensor possibilities. So if I go with a orange, I've got a signal. I go with red, I've got a signal. I'll just get through these as well. The dusts to show that. So that's like so. And if I cycle through each of these, of course, red isn't really gonna doesn't seem to be working there. Okay. Whilst some of the others I was expecting not to as much because of what the colours would represent, most likely. So you get the idea, obviously, each colour determines what it will be, and then from there, of course, you can um, have an output. Um, there's obviously a lot more going on than what I can say, but um, yeah, if you are familiar with obviously the new feature for composable automation, then obviously having these two interconnected will definitely be a great addition to your redstone builds. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye! If there's anything I missed, or anything you can inform me about that you'll know a lot more than I will when it comes to redstone, let me know, because I am quite interested. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye!